Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to determine which side is the print side for the DTF films. The print side will have a sticker that says print on this side. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Actually, just joking. The second clue is normally the manufacturer going to put their labels on the back side, non-printing side, so, it, so the cover will not scratch the coating. Of course, it's a matter of common sense. I even have people email me, why you put your product in a Ziploc bag? Okay, uh, because the moisture, the moisture is great for your printhead, but not so great for your films. So you do not want to take all the film out. So just take out uh, the amount that you need it. Another advantage of uh, putting the label on the non-printing side is you can put in a silica gel. This gel pack will become green uh, from orange uh, after it's saturated, saturated with the moisture. I know it's hard to find uh, A4, A3 Ziploc bags, but you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to DTF Direct, Direct Film and uh, click DTF Parts. I haven't had a list yet, but I'm going to list uh, A4 and A3 bags and uh, the silica gel here. Uh, also for the gel, after it turns green, you can put in the microwave, microwave five minutes, and uh, take it out, uh, let it cool down, and uh, then microwave another five minutes, and uh, it'll, it'll become orange again, so it's uh, totally re reusable. However, if you do not trust your manufacturer common sense, or maybe your friend just gave you a bag of uh, films, and uh, it didn't tell you which one, which one, which side is print side. So then, what do we do? Uh, this sheet, we know this is the print side. I'll just write uh, the word print side on it, so we know it's print side. I know there's many methods. Uh, some people say uh, if you feel like one side is more smooth on their side, and uh, people say you lick on it. If uh, if you feel it's sticky, it's the print side. Let me show you how we do it at the BCH. Now it's time to do some coke off the blade of a knife. The print side is coated because it want to stick with uh, the ink, and uh, so it's a little bit more, uh, it's heavier, a little bit more heavier coated than the back side. The non-printing side is coated because it just wanted the printer to be able to grab it, and uh, so the back side doesn't have that much uh, coating. You can see right now I'm scratching the non-printing side. Uh, no matter how much you scratch, the amount of powder is not going to be thick enough to cover the edge of, uh, of the razor blade. Okay, I'm doing the print side again, and I wipe off the powders, and you can see it come off as a sheet. Okay, and uh, so for me, the finger length you can accumulate enough for you to for one snore. And uh, see, that's, uh, if you like twist it, it feel a little bit like a powdery and, uh, and I feel a little bit, bit sticky. So now it's the back side again. See the non-printing side, there's no much powder there. Okay, now let's uh, Let's figure out for the theory of smooth and less smooth, which side is the print side. Uh, this is highly subjective. After like 10 minutes of uh, discussion with my coworker, and I decided to scratch the original smooth side that I thought was smooth. And uh, now uh, I think this side is more smooth than the other side. And you can see how hard it is to tell which side is smooth. Okay, anyway, both of us agree this is a smooth side, and uh, let's see if uh, this side should be non-printed side. Okay, here's your result. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's a non-printing side. Uh, my co-worker yelled in the background that says, uh, go get a magnific glass <laughs> to decide which one is the smooth side. Anyway, so here's a non-smooth side, and it should be a print side. What do you think? 
enough for a snore. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.